Tennis is at one of the biggest heights in history. There are so many incredible players at the moment, and it can be hard to know who is going to be on top next. Some of the biggest Grand Slam tournaments are coming up in the next few months, but some of the greatest tennis players might not attend. Let's see who will be missing from the Aussie Open and see more tennis news. Firstly, Karolina Pliskova's hand injury. In a super unfortunate turn of events, the world number four, Karolina Pliskova, has hurt her right hand during a practice session. She will have to miss out on playing at the events at Adelaide and the one in Sydney that is being held in January, and that's unfortunate. But fans are really disappointed that she won't be able to make it to the first major of the season, the Australian Open, which begins towards the end of January. She has been a two-time Grand Slam finalist, with some of her best results seeing her lose against Ash Barty in Wimbledon in July and in 2016 by Angelique Kerber at the U.S. Open showpiece. People were eager to see what she could achieve this year, and starting out the season strong would have been a big part of that. Hopefully she didn't injure her hand so severely that it will have long-lasting consequences for her season. Some outlets have reported that it might be broken and might take even longer to heal. For now, she is withdrawn, and she isn't the only one. A number of strong players will be sitting this one out, and as that has sparked concerns that this tournament won't be as competitive as it should be. Who else is withdrawn from the Aussie Open? This won't come as much of a surprise to tennis fans, but Roger Federer is one of the players that won't be able to make it to the Australian Open thanks to his third right knee surgery that he is still recovering from. He had indicated that his rehab on the knee is going really well, and that he believes that the worst is behind him. He wants to get back on the court this season, but has not indicated when that will happen just that it won't be in Australia. Serena Williams won't be making her return to the court either, as she had initially hoped. Serena injured her hamstring in the first round of Wimbledon this year and has been trying to rehabilitate it enough to be able to compete in Australia, but now she's following the advice of her medical team and giving the injury more time to heal. She really wanted to compete, but giving her body the rest it needs is just as important as is taking care of your mental health. And that's what Bianca Andreescu is doing. She won the 2019 U.S. Open, so fans were looking forward to seeing her, but she announced that she would be taking a mental break from the sport, and that would mean missing the first part of the season, including the Aussie Open. Taking care of your mental health is much more important than competing in anything, and we applaud her. Others that'll be missing. Some others that will also miss the tournament is Stan Wawrinka, who is out with a left foot injury, Guido Pea, who has to miss the Open because of an injury to the knee, and Jennifer Brady, who also has an injury to her left foot. We wish everyone a speedy recovery and return to the court. Rafael Nadal tests positive for COVID. In another hit to his trading for the 2022 season, Rafael Nadal has announced that he has tested positive for COVID-19. He was returning home from Mubadala Tennis World Championships that was held in Abu Dhabi when he was tested and the test came back with a positive result. It was not what he or any of his fans had wanted to hear at this stage. It luckily sounds like he isn't feeling too sick at the moment since he said he is experiencing mild symptoms but that he also doesn't know what it would mean for his schedule. He could be better and negative by the start of the season in a few weeks but it will depend on how he is feeling at that time. Plus pushing his body just after having COVID might be a really bad idea. He has just returned to the game after a period where his foot injury kept him off the court and away from practice. Being forced to once again take it easy must be really hard. He had hoped to intensify his workout routine for the next while to ensure that he was as ready as possible for the 2022 season. Now he'll have to focus on recovering first and then see what that means for his condition and his game going forward. Nadal has asked that anyone who is in contact with him please go get tested. Are you looking forward to the start of the new season and to the Aussie Open despite these players that have withdrawn from the competition? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Up next we're going to check out who is really the tennis goat, what Serena Williams has said about saying farewell, and a lot more tennis news. So don't go anywhere. Who is the true tennis goat? This has been a hotly debated topic for a while now. Who really is the greatest male tennis player of all time? We do know that the only three guys in the running have to be Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, and Novak Djokovic. They all have been able to achieve 20 majors apiece, and they are tied at the top of the Grand Slam standings. It is a result that will probably never be equaled once again. They played each other, and the only reason that they didn't have even more is because the others were stopping them from getting even more impressive stats. Alexander Zverev weighed in on the subject. According to him, you can't really argue with the amount of weeks that Novak spent on the top in tennis. He said that if all three would stop playing right away, that he would believe it is Novak Djokovic it would be number one. It's true that Federer and Nadal are probably ahead when it comes to being fan favorites and also the favorites from the media, but when it comes to a purely sporting point of view, in terms of success in purely tennis, Alexander feels that Djokovic is at the top spot. It could change as they continue playing, but I don't entirely think it will. What will happen when Serena Williams decides to say farewell. When it comes to women's tennis, there isn't much dispute. Most fans and experts agree that there is no other female tennis player that is better than Serena Williams. They say that she has to be the greatest of all time. But even one of the best players ever is off days, like after the last Australian Open, when Serena agreed that she had made loads of mistakes. Back then, she also went on to say that if she ever decided that it was time to say farewell, that she would not tell anyone. But I think I speak for many fans of the sport when I say that it is not time for Serena to hang up her tennis racket. She still has a lot to offer 
of the sport, and despite injury forcing her to miss out on the first part of the 2022 season, we are sure that she will play a massive role in making the new season incredible and really competitive. We really hope that the time hasn't come to say farewell yet, but if she does live up to her word not to tell anyone, then we can never be entirely sure when it will happen. Anyone can win Grand Slam titles. Tennis, and especially the male's tennis category, are really competitive at the moment with a lot of strong players that are competing. For the moment, Novak Djokovic is still at the top of the world standings, but Daniil Medvedev is working hard to come for that title and to make the difference between them smaller. There have been times where Medvedev has been able to best Djokovic and beat him, but he still needs to work on being consistently good. But at the same time, we've moved past the time where there were just three men's players that always won every championship. Now there's a group of 8-12 to 12 players that are all really competitive and that they are all capable of winning prestigious championships. Many times it just depends on who is on top form, who has injuries, who plays well on the day, and a little bit of luck that is thrown into the mix too. If everything aligns, then it has been proven that any of them could win and the world needs to prepare to see a bunch of new champions in the coming season and beyond. It's going to make the sport much more fun to watch and much more exciting. Some of the younger players are hungry for the win and this just might give them a bit of an edge too. Who's your favorite to win the Aussie Open? Share your thoughts with us in the comments and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.